Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at the pizza paddle from Rob Thompson. What is this? Well, uh, at its core, it's a paddle effect, okay, that uh, is a little bit more organic and a lot more fun for kids. Uh, this is actually put out by Amaze Kids, and it's a really neat little utility. Here's the trailer. from Amaze Kids with Rob Thompson's Pizza Paddle. Check this out. Finally, a paddle trick that makes sense. This is probably the perfect trick for the restaurant worker because you can go up to a table and you say, you know what this is? It's a little pizza paddle. Yeah, the guy in the back he reaches into the pizza oven with the pizza paddle and he pulls out a pizza. And the kids are really amazed when the pizza appears on the paddle. What I like to do is reach and take it off. You know, tomato, that's my favorite. And you can finish it in one bite. Rob is able to take the pizza right off the pizza paddle. It looks like this. Come in close with the camera so you can see just how great this looks. Let's take a look now and see Rob Thompson in action at the Italian restaurant where he performs weekly. Hi guys, it's Rob Thompson. We're here at Rosati's Pizza and Pub. And I want to introduce to you my new pizza pal trick. So come on inside with me. We're going to have some fun. Have you ever seen one of these things? Yes. What is it? Like a pizza thing. That's right. This is how we get the pizzas out of the oven. We're going to stick that in the pizza oven, and when we pull it out, there's going to be pizza on it. How did that go? <laughs> Listen, Martha, we'll try it again, okay? Do you like pepperoni? Yeah. Do you? Listen, I'm just going to give it. Would you just touch my hand? It's gone. Let's try this again, okay? Stick that inside the pizza oven. When you pull it out, there's pizza on it. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler, do you wash behind your ears, Tyler? You sure? Because I noticed when I walked up to the table, there was pizza growing back there, buddy. You don't like pepperoni? I'll tell you what. How about we just get rid of that? I'll take that one home. This has to go back in the pizza oven. And you said you didn't like pepperoni? Take it anyway. Thanks for coming, okay? I appreciate it. After you've made the pizza appear, you can put the paddle away and do any move with the pizza that you can do with a coin. One idea is to take the pizza and say, what's so great about this pizza is that it only cost a penny. All right, so that was the pizza paddle from Rob Thompson and Amaze Kids. A couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Ah, it's not really a box. A little uh, plasticky envelope thing. Uh, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a four and a half inch long real wooden pizza paddle, and then you're gonna get two gimmicked, we'll call them coins, pizza coins that, uh, that you can use for appearances, disappearances, transpositions, you know, pizza to impossible location, if you would. Uh, and then you're gonna get the download code to the video instruction. The video instruction is 11 minutes long. Is it what I thought? Uh, it is what I thought. They say kind of right in the advertisement that it is a paddle trick, you know, and that so if you already do the paddle move, you're familiar with that. You've purchased, you know, a, a, a wand that might do a paddle trick before. So even watching the commercial, you kind of already have an idea about how it's done. How are the angles and can it be inspected? Uh, you know, again, I think if you're already familiar with the paddle tricks, well, you know for one, they can't be inspected. You kind of do your own version of inspecting and say, you know, uh, the, the way I usually get around it is you say, you know, I, I tap it on one side and then the object is on one side but not on the other and then you can kind of hand it out but I think that's a cheap way to do it. So I just opt to say, you know, you really shouldn't hand these out. Uh, the angles are always good. I think the paddle move happens so fast, you know, it's kind of more like uh, a speed slight where 
I don't think the spectator really believes it's magical per se. I think they can tell from the movements and how fast you're going that it is sleight of hand. They just can't see how fast it's done. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, the video is well shot, it's well mic'd, there's no distracting background music. Um, Rob Thompson teaches you everything in a studio, and, and then at the end of the video, he actually takes you live into a pizza parlor and does some live performances, and so that's nice to see. All right, so is the product well made? Uh, it's very well made. Uh, you're gonna get the paddle and the little pizza coins. They're made out of solid wood, so that's nice. And then you have really bright colored stickers for the pizzas, probably last you your lifetime. How much practice does this require? Uh, really almost none if you're already familiar with the paddle move. If you've done paddle tricks before, you can actually watch the commercial when you receive the gimmick and then just say, oh, okay, I, I know how I would do this or I know how uh, I would do this if it were up to me and kind of make it your own. And so I, I think the practice required for it is very minimal. And as far as setup and reset, again, uh, there's really nothing to set up or reset on these. Everything pretty much comes as is and you just put it in your pocket and walk to the next table. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Pizza Paddle? Uh, finally, a paddle trick that makes sense. I know a lot of restaurant magicians who are really gonna want this one. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, I don't know, there's not really any negatives to this. I mean, it, I mean, it is what it is. It's, you know, it's a paddle trick. And like I said at the beginning, I don't know that anyone will ever think that this is magic. You know, I think what they think is they don't know how it's done. They can tell by your movements of shoving things in your hand or jerking things back and forth really fast. I think when you make those kind of movements, the routine implies that you're doing sleight of hand. You're not trying to be, look, I'm making everything fair, you know? The paddle move itself is very fast and very jerky, and so it's almost kind of like that, that movement that you, that you do for dogs and cats to, to freak them out, you know? Like, hey, look, it's moving so fast, you can't tell what's happening. So I, I think it's cute, I think it's a fun trick, I think kids will get a kick out of it. I think it's great for restaurant magic. I, I don't know that those, that style of trick, uh, people think, oh, it's magic, you know? I don't think that they think that you have magical powers. I think that the gimmick itself implies this is something I bought at a magic store, you know? Yeah. Is it worth your money? You know, it's only $25. $25 and I would totally use this at a kid's party. I would totally use this uh, for walk around at a restaurant, especially if there was kids at the table. I would definitely have this in my pocket uh, if there were kids at the table. So I think restaurant magicians are gonna love this. All right, so that is my review of the Pizza Paddle from Rob Thompson and Amaze Kids. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, bye.